We're in South Burnie and we're um, at the Tasmania Minerals and Energy Council building where we co-located with our University of Tasmania course. So our primary course we're delivering here is Associate Degree in Equipment Design and Technology, but everything we're doing here really has got an industry forward type focus. The people that are involved in what we're doing here are excited about it and they're industry people. We're using industry engineers, people that have been involved in um, you know, training kids in high schools, for example. So it's actually using real um, learning, real experience. We're kind of using practitioners, as it were, um, to deliver um, the skills and education to our students. One of the things the university's done over the last um, 18 months um, is we, we realised that we need to reach more people and not just numbers, but reach further into community, particularly into regional areas of Tasmania. So we've purchased a, a what we call a mobile um, integrated learning environment. We can use that, say, at a school during the day and then put on a community short course in the evening. So we can go into Circular Head, we might go down the Huon or to the east coast or the southeast of the state and be able to take the university to the people. Some of the outcomes we're hoping to achieve here are outcomes that industry have told us they need. So whether that be in agriculture, um, because the nature of agriculture is changing so dramatically in terms of the skills you need to work in the industry, um, or whether it be in, um, in manufacturing. So it's kind of like creating work-ready graduates that are future fit um, and can adapt with the skills they've been taught to wherever uh, they might go in their career. Say 80 years ago, uh, somebody leaving primary school, if they couldn't learn, they were told become a farmer. Now, if you can't learn, you can't become a farmer anymore. That has completely flipped. In the past, it was about that physical labor and just doing something. Now you actually have to manage and be smart to be able to deal with all that type of data and everything that is happening. Because of the changes that we are going through with that extra layer of technology and automation, uh, we are stepping away of old school type of farming to actually very modern types of farming where you deal with technologies and tractors that drive themselves and follow the right track and information that tells you of individual cows if they are functioning well and healthy so you can do all that preventative work instead of waiting until they might be sick. We try to do everything to prevent that they get sick. What we are trying to do here in uh, Tasmania is doing research relevant for the industry. We do have some occasional dry summers here, so irrigation is actually an excellent tool to keep grass growing. And we have done a fair bit of research in that regard. And the findings we made during that research actually has improved growing using irrigation water a fair bit. So that is, I think, an excellent example. Using sensors in the field will support that work and help farmers uh, going forward uh, irrigating more precisely, getting more growth from the same amount of water. So agriculture as a whole has really embraced the old gut feel and some, some growers do that really well and some growers not so well. At Forsyth we're coming off a fairly low base in way of, of ag tech. You never quite know which is the best sensor to go to, um, so that's one of the advantages of the test lab. The smart farm component of it, that will actually help me in the decisions I make. With the data that we can generate from that, that then puts an informed decision in the grower's hands and to try and do it as easily as you can. You don't want to go through a lot of hoops to get whatever data you need at your fingertips. There's been some amazing businesses and, and outputs from this state over a number of decades. But everything's changing around us, the world's changing. So, you know, we need to address some efficiency and productivity issues if we're going to be competitive in a global sense. So helping those great people with a great skill set to upskill, uh, to understand where things are going and to give them the skills around programming and 3D design and um, design thinking and new innovation and how to maybe we create new products and new businesses. That's part of our mission is to help industry step up, not to be telling industry what they need to do. They know what they need to do. They're well versed, but getting alongside them and helping them on that journey.